It's the crown jewel in the real estate empire of one of America's wealthiest families, and it's getting its debut on the New York Stock Exchange today. We're, of course, talking about Hyatt Hotels. Todd Jones is the managing director at Research Edge. He's studied the Pritzker family in Hyatt. He joins us this morning. Um, Todd, thanks so much for coming in. I'm looking at your research report, and the first thing you write is that a top-notch hotel company finally going public, but at a fundamental low point for the industry. You say, does that make sense? You think so. Why does it make sense? Well, there's a few reasons, Carol. Uh, you know, I think primarily, uh, you know, people say, well, you know, we're at a fundamental low for the for the industry right. because uh, trough EBITDA, trough cash flow, trough earnings. But the fact of the matter is, the valuations already account for that. So we're sort of near high. Uh, historical valuations uh, in terms of the metrics we look at. So why not now? Uh, you know, even though uh, you do have low cash flow relative to historical levels, people are already looking ahead. People are already looking at maybe possibility of a V-shaped recovery and pricing that into the stock. Uh, it's also a good vehicle to raise capital in the future. Uh, you know, for being the a family. public company, for, well, for the family now, but in the future, if uh, you know they have a great balance sheet, so they can obviously borrow more. But if they ever wanted to raise equity, it's it's a it's a better vehicle to go to the capital markets and uh, and make some acquisitions, raise money, whatever they need to do to uh, to get the company where they want it to be. Is this a well-run company as far as uh, hotels are concerned? Yeah, sure, Eric. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, Hyatt's a great brand name. Uh, the margins look good relative to the competition. I think it's a very well-run company. Is it a well-run family? Because we know the disputes that have gone on for the last decade. Yeah, it was an interesting read, wasn't it, uh, <laughs> it in was. the filings? You know, I'm just going to show everybody, and this isn't all of it, but it's like 300, you guys got this? 344 pages. All right, first camera one. There you go. <laughs> a lot of pages. Um, what are some of the unusual things in this filing? Well, I think clearly there, there's it's a very wealthy family. Uh, there's a lot of participants. I think there's 11 cousins involved, uh, all very wealthy, all have their own interests outside of Hyatt. So there's clearly a lot of uh, squabbles going on uh, historically and probably now. But you know, I'm less focused on that. I think I think they've put a structure in place where at least uh, you've got you know a board you've got some independent at least senior management involved i'm more concerned with the the dual voting structure mm -hmm. i think anytime you see those words together it, it, it's a it's a red flag uh, not that there's anything going on right now actually the you know eric and i were talking a little bit before it looks pretty clean in terms of insider transactions insider relationships but there is that risk going forward what what is to stop though the Prisker family? We won't worry about the feuding for a moment, but just from making this stock a bit of a plaything. They obviously they want liquidity at some point. A lot of the feuds have been over money, so there's the risk, the overhang, effectively that they're going to sell, and uh, and the possibility for there to be some shenanigans later on because of that dual class structure. Sure, that that is the risk, Erica. Uh, clearly, uh, th there's a lot of things that could happen. You know, we have other companies in our space that have this kind of structure, or in hotels, for instance, and there's actually a lawsuit challenging that structure. Uh, a lot of people think that they should have sold out at the top. There was apparently, allegedly, some offer much higher than where the stock was trading at, and they declined to do that. Uh, the Pritzkers all have their own in independent interests. There's potential for, uh, you know, insider transactions, things that, that, that you mentioned. So, sure, that, that is the risk. It's like buying a, a used car, right? I mean, automatically the price drops as soon as it becomes a used car because there is a risk in buying that. Bottom line, that family control is why you don't want to own the stock in your view. Well, I, I think it's why it should be at a discount to, say, a Starwood or a Marriott. Now, there are some offsetting factors, like Hyatt will have the best balance sheet in the business and a right. lot of dry powder to go out and make acquisitions. But okay. uh, for the same structure, you, you know, when, when somebody else is getting 10 votes for year one, got it. you've got to put some kind of discount on that valuation. All right, we've got to run. Todd, thank you so much. Todd Jordan, Managing Director over at Research Edge.